There is absolutely no point in you trying to make money on Instagram unless you've got what I'm about to talk about in this video on point. That's gonna happen to your dollar if you don't get your shit right. Actually, it's a tenor and that was supposed to be my lunch, but you know, money is money and if you guys don't actually get this correct, yeah, that's gonna happen to your ten dollars. You're gonna make ten dollars and phew, gonna turn up like this. And then they're gonna go like this. They're gonna go like this, and this, and it's not gonna be any value left in it. Not that it really was though, it's just paper. But anyways, in this video guys, we're gonna be talking about what you need to have in place up in here for you to make more of this paper right here. Is it weird? I kind of feel slightly bad for tearing up this dollar or ten dollar bill. That's like good lunch money there, but you know, I'm trying to emphasize a point for the video. In the trash you go. Okay, so here's the thing guys. You have two types of people. You've got two types of people trying to make money on Instagram. One of them is called Jonas and the other guy is called Atkins. Okay? Don't know why I came up with that name, but you got Jonas and you got Atkins. Jonas has a very very weak mindset and so what he's going to do is that first of all he's not gonna watch this entire video smash like by the way but he's not gonna watch this entire video he probably skips out of the video if he clicks on it right about now so Jonas skips out of the video he's got a very weak mindset and what Jonas now does is that he goes on to his Instagram account maybe he's got a thousand followers maybe he's got 10,000 followers doesn't really matter what matters is what's up in here in Jonas's head and what's up in there is not very impressive because what Jonas is gonna do now is that he's gonna find a product or whatever you want to do to make money he's probably gonna advertise a shout out or something like that he's gonna go to telegram or do something like that he's gonna find find some people advertise his shout out spend a lot of time advertising his shout out doesn't really get any sale from that but suddenly somebody hops into their his DM and they're interested in buying a shout out so he's gonna be like yeah ten dollar for a shout out yes I'm gonna make ten dollars woohoo nice <clears throat> <coughs> yeah then Jonas is gonna pull out his PayPal and he's gonna be like yeah here send me the money he gets the money he gets the ten dollars on his PayPal and boom Jonas just made ten dollars now this is the difference between Jonas and Atkins, and I'll get to Atkins in a second, which is the guy you want to be. You want to be guy Atkins, or if, he, if he's a guy or a girl, that's the person you want to be. Now, what Jonas is going to do now is that he's going to take the money from PayPal, transfer it to his bank, he's going to put on some shoes, put on a nice t-shirt, and he's going to run up to the store, buy an energy drink, and buy some, buy some food. That's Jonas. That's where Jonas' money goes, because... If you have the kind of mindset that Jonas has, where it's just, I want to make a quick buck. I, 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 I'm going to do whatever I can to just make a quick buck. Like $10, yes, $10, woohoo. $10 is nothing. And if you're putting that much effort into just making $10, $50 here and there, you're not going to value the money. You're not going to be like, oh shit, this, this money could actually be used for something more valuable. No, you're going to just spend the money right away. And that's Jonas' mindset. That's why he is really never ever going to do any significant in his life is because he doesn't have the investor's mindset. He doesn't have a business mentality, a business mindset. And so no matter how much money he makes on Instagram, you might be sitting here watching like Thor, I made $4,000 on Instagram, woohoo. Yeah, where, where is that money? Tell me where that money is. Uh, ooh, um, well, I bought this new classy walk and, and I got some new like a uh, Gucci flip-flops and shit and like fuck Gucci I like I, I don't have any of those like I buy my clothes and I'm being honest now from wish and H&M because I don't like wasting money on clothes and if you're wasting your if you made four thousand dollars woohoo good for you nice that means something is working but if that off, if, if all that money went to clothing, if it went to food, if it went to bullshit things that you wouldn't have had to spend that money on, you're just like Jonas. And and I don't fuck with Jonas's. You shouldn't be a Jonas because, yeah, you're just you're a Jonas. <laughs> Fucking Jonas, poor Jonas. I ah. Uh, 
poor Jonas. I actually got a Jonas in my class, um, and, and when I'm saying Jonas, I'm thinking about him. But he's actually he's actually doing quite well now. He he used to be like this tiny kid, like very tiny. Everyone used to mock him. I was actually friends with him, um, but um, now he's like buff. He's like. A, big arms and stuff it's it's funny but <laughs> anyways don't be a Jonas <laughs> now let's not forget about Atkins because Atkins is the man so what Atkins is gonna do is that he's gonna think bigger he's gonna think beyond the shout out he's gonna be like okay so how can I make money on Instagram well to make money I need people to trust me you're not gonna make any sales if people don't trust you and a shout out is cool but we want to make money in a scalable consistent way so what can I do well let me find a product that is resonating with my audience that is actually going to provide value to my audience keyword there value if it doesn't provide value don't sell it I'm gonna find a product that provides value to my audience I'm gonna find the best possible product in my niche, I'm gonna research my niche, I'm gonna find the best selling product right now that is providing value to my audience, that my audience will benefit from, that will like make their life better. Okay, got, I got the product. Atkins put in the research, he finds the product. Now next what he does is that he knows this and he's been known this for a while that if I'm gonna make any money on my Instagram account, it doesn't matter if I've got a thousand followers or if I've got a hundred thousand followers. There are accounts with 100,000 followers that make more money, uh, I, I'm sorry, there are accounts with 1,000 followers that make more money than accounts with 100,000 followers. And if you're watching right now and you made, in the last 30 days, if you made less than $1,000 on Instagram and your account has 10,000 followers plus, you're doing something wrong. And I'm here trying to help you get these wrongdoings in the right way. I'm trying to take you from being a Jonas to an Atkins. Whether that's a woman Jonas or a woman Atkins or whatever, you get the point. Um, that's what I'm trying to do here. And and me and Ben recently, Ben, my partner, recently put together a training which really goes into depth about this. We talk mindset, we talk business, we talk how you actually build a sustainable five-figure business with Instagram because that's what it's about. It's not about the followers. I don't give a shit about the followers. It does not matter. Okay, you might get some clout. It might be easier to get girls. Actually, if you go to London, it doesn't make it easier to get girls if you got followers on Instagram. I tried. It doesn't work. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> it, it, there's no value in them. Literally. If it, unless you're making money, yeah, I don't give a shit about the followers. And you shouldn't, too. Um, and, and I highly recommend you guys check out that workshop. It is free. It's a long training. You can click the link down below. It's value-packed training. It is what you need to succeed on Instagram. And if you actually want to make money, which who doesn't want to make money? I mean, if you're here for the followers, cool. But you can leave now because, uh, yeah, I'm... It, it, it. Anyways, Atkins. So... What Atkins is gonna do is he's gonna find this product, as I said, he's now gonna go to his Instagram account and he's gonna be providing value to his audience, free value, consistently. He's gonna go on the stories, he's gonna share himself, he's gonna know and, and do this because he knows that for me to sell, I need to trust my audience, my audience needs to trust me, sorry, I need to build a connection with them, I need to establish a relationship with them, I need to show my, uh, my personality, I need to show who the guy behind this page is. That's his mindset. And because of this, he's developing a connection with this audience. He's replying to comments. He's, he's, com he's actually spending time in the community, helping them out through the DMs, sending voice notes through the DMs, all this stuff, actually providing them value. And then what he does is that he actually puts effort into making money. He actually researched the psychology behind that. Okay, so if I do this on the landing page, it's gonna convert better. If I put a sales video here, it's gonna do better. So he actually puts time, he actually invests into a proper landing page so that his product is gonna convert better. He then makes a story, an appealing story, actually appeals to people's emotions. Guys, if you do this or get this product, it's gonna make this better in your life. So he's actually taking a couple of angles where he's got the mindset where he knows that, okay, this is gonna trigger this, this, and that. That's the kind of mindset you need to succeed on Instagram. That's the kind of mindset you need to make money on Instagram. If you don't have that mindset, again, if you're Jonas, yeah, it's very bad. Smash like if you're a Jonas. Because um, most of you guys are Jonas's, so that means I'm gonna get more likes by saying smash like if you're Jonas compared to smash like if you're an Atkins. So, but it's, there's no shame in being a Jonas. Like, Jonas is Jonas, and if your name is Jonas, I mean, sorry, dude. But 
yeah, you can change. Everyone can change. I used to be Jonas. I was a Jonas two years ago. And then I realized that followers don't matter. It's about the money, uh, which this world is built around. So yeah, go from a Jonas to an Atkins. Now what Atkins is gonna do, he's gonna send traffic to his store or to his landing page, and he's gonna make a couple of sales. Now, say Atkins makes, hmm, five sales. That's pretty good. He makes $70 and with the $70, maybe 20 of them is gonna go into buying the product or, or investing into the product, but then he's gonna be left with $50, which he can do whatever he wants with him. But he's not gonna go to the store and buy even more energy drinks and food than Jonas did because he's got more money. No, he's gonna actually take this money, he's gonna reinvest it into his business, into his Instagram business. He's gonna in reinvest it into, uh, for example, a, a campaign to get more followers. He's gonna reinvest it into um, a better sales page, more training, courses, coaching, uh, mentorship to learn better what he can do. Obviously, you're not gonna get that for $50, coaching, mentorship, whatever, if somebody is selling that obviously they don't value themselves a lot which means the product you're buying is probably not worth $50 even even though it's $50 is it, there's yeah you get the point um, no mentorship is $50 but yeah he's gonna reinvest the money and if you're not thinking like that if you if, if you don't think that far you're not going to make any money with Instagram. You might make money with Instagram but it doesn't matter because you're gonna waste the money the money is gonna go away the way I see it, and the way you should see it too, is that there's no point, there's absolutely no point on being on Instagram at all. Like for real, if Instagram was not my job, I would delete that platform on every single phone that I have. And I've got three phones and one computer. I would delete it on my computer too. I fucking hate Instagram. And I'm gonna be talking about that in another video. Like what about Instagram I fucking hate? Because there's a lot of things that I hate about Instagram. and. If Instagram wasn't my business, I would not spend a single second on Instagram a day. It fucks you up. It fucks up your brain if you're not using it right and if you're not careful about it. And I'm not going to, uh, I know I'm going on a rant now, but this is important that you guys know. There really is no point in you being on Instagram. Absolutely no point in you being on Instagram unless you're actually trying to build a business. I I'm, I'm for real. Like, there really is no point. Why other reason would you be on Instagram? Ooh, to consume content. Ooh, to get hits of dopamine. Ooh, to watch cool makeup videos. Ooh. No. Don't do that. Absolutely not. That's the least thing you should be spending your time doing. Ooh, but I could have a lot of followers. Ooh, I could look cool. Ooh, I could get this clout. Yeah. That's some messed up matrix kind of shit and you shouldn't be worrying about that. No, so you see, there really is no point. Oh, but I could talk to my friends. No, use Snapchat for talking to your friends. Um, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, but for real, there really is no point unless you're actually trying to make money. And if you're, if you're making some money, cool, that's fine. But unless you're actually reinvesting that money into your business and lecture, unless you're actually trying to scale, it really isn't worth your time. What's the point in trying to gain followers? Most of you guys seem like you just want to gain followers. And I get that. I mean, followers is the first step. But if followers is all that matters, maybe you have just a crazy passion for cars and you just love posting car pictures and you're like, that's the highlight of your day, going on Instagram and posting pictures of cars and looking at other cars. If that's the case and you don't care about the money, you just really want to post cars on Instagram, then that's fine. I mean, cool, you've got a weird hobby and I respect that. But for most people, that's not the case. And I'm assuming most people actually have some sort of intention of making money on Instagram. So, 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 so make that your goal. Get your mindset right. That's the first thing you gotta fix, is your mindset. Once I fixed my mindset, it was easy. It was simple, it wasn't easy. Easy is like, yeah, you gotta put in the work, you gotta put in the time, but yeah. I think we've gone on this rant for, for quite some time. 